Oh my fucking god, Akami, you can't keep doing this to me. You absolutely can't keep doing this. My my blood pressure cannot take it. This is too fucking much. Okay, for uh, a lot of people who don't know, and like I was saying, I'll be spoiling a lot in Akami, and let me just tell you, there was some huge shit go down, and I mean absolutely huge shit. So if you don't want to know the spoilers and all that and all that, and you don't, you haven't caught up to Akami, then I'm giving you a little chance just to leave right now because I don't want to spoil it to like people. But I'd highly recommend you read the manga right now because the manga is fucking godlike right now. So this seems like to be part two of chapter 52 and all that since it was like a very short chapter last month. So there pretty much is going to be a two part and all that. I don't know whether to call it 52.2 or, or point five or 50, chapter 53. It's very weird with this chapter, but... Ah, fuck, I'll call it whatever I'm calling this. This is one of the fucking greatest. This is fucking insane. So we see from the start of this chapter, Lovebug is, like, really trying to escape. And he's like, oh, he uses Tegu as, like, a hostage. And he, like, tries to run into, like, uh, like one of the members of Wild Hunt. It was, like, saying, like, oh, like I think his name was Isor. And, oh, my God, this chapter just from the fucking start was just going absolutely ape shit. Like, not only did we see Lovebug, he got sliced fucking in the heart, like half, like all his shoulder like that. And he's like, you ain't gonna use a Tegu on me as a, like a hostage like that. I don't care apart from fighting like that. And I'm like, oh my god, fucking he got fighting. I was like, oh, he can use his strings or something like that. And I was like, he's there on the floor saying, you know, need a gym. And I'm like, oh my god, did, you, did he just die right now? And I'm like, it's not a crooked turn. Like that, I'm going fucking nuts. Like I'm fucking screaming, like, oh my god, like that, no way, this can be true right now, and I'm like, and then the chapter confirmed it, I was like, five members left, and I'm like, oh my god, we just had a fucking huge death, like, just now, like, I, I can't deal with more deaths, I honestly can't, we've had too many in Night Raid already, it's too much, how the fuck is Nina Jay gonna find out, like, I can't, you know, they're gonna go absolutely batshit, this is their fucking, like, this is the fifth person they've lost. And it's like, oh my god. Like, it's got, not to mention as well, they suffered a heavy loss as well. Like, Shulia as well was confirmed dead. He's actually dead now. And the Chancellor does not appreciate human life. Even his son, like, his own son's life is like, oh, I, I don't give a fuck. I guess I'll just make another one. That just means he was a failure. And I'm like, you fucking worthless piece of shit. You, you, your own son, who my, may I remind you, was a scumbag like that, is dead. You don't even care. You just say, oh, he was a failure anyway. I guess he should have survived. I'm like, not only have we got the, like, rather just sh cut clean and fucking half right now, but not to mention as well, we've got, et, like, S death threatening Tatsumi as well with this fucking life. Like, Tatsumi is, like, being told about this, and he's like, no, no, I can't fucking believe this. And when he got told about the death, like, S. Death is, like, trying to uh, commit to the, like, task me saying, please, I'm not going to join your side and all that. Just, please, just join me. You don't have to be with the Empire. You'll be with me. And he's, like, just get out. Like that. And I'm, like, task me. It's just filled with rage and anger. And I'm, like, I just when I saw that, like, I literally wouldn't have believed it because I thought, oh, he could use his table to, like, literally stitch himself back up. Maybe he has, like, some strings inside of them or something like that, but I can't believe it. Love it. Rabbit is dead. He was a fucking amazing character like that. And I'm like, Akami don't give a shit. Akami will fucking, these two guys will kill off people like they're nothing. It's like, oh, you love everything about this character? Fucking gone. You take Bulla away from me. You take Shelly away from me. You take Chelsea and Susan away from me. You take fucking some of the awesome members of fucking Jaegers as well. You're gonna take this one as well? You've already taken five people from me from the Night Raid squad. I can't lose another. I can't lose, like, fucking Leone. If I lose Leone, I'm done. I'm dead. Like that, like, oh, oh god. If Akami, if the main girl herself dies, I'm gonna be done. Mine, I could accept a little bit more. That may get tasked me a hell of a lot more the tragic character, but no, you, you have Rabbit, Rabbit, no, no, I can't. S death, I'm done. I'm I'm never talking about this fucker again. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking absolutely. She like kills herself or sacrifices herself for task me. Um, oh no, let's not think about that. I don't want to fucking think. <laughs> the chapter itself is fucking amazing, obviously. Like, 
let's just get down to business. It's amazing, Jabda. I fucking love it. It's a 10 already. The last, like, last month's chapter was that. And this month's chapter is that as well. I'm like, yo, like, this is some fucking crazy shit right now. And I'm loving Akame. And you guys should too. But overall, oh, godlike chapter. Another godlike chapter. This is why people need to be reading that Akame greatness. But that's all for us. Thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys next time.